Today I'm going to be checking out the Airline Bighorn guitar from Eastwood. It is a super cool, pretty crazy looking guitar and I'm going to be telling you all about it in just a moment but let me begin by playing something. Tell you a bit more about this guitar then and perhaps I'll start with a bit of history about the airline brand and the airline name and I'm not super knowledgeable about this so forgive me if I get some of the details wrong but as far as I know the original airline Bighorn was available in the 60s and it was one of these department store or catalog guitars in the US and there was a period where airline and some other related brands K, Harmony, I think Supro were bringing out these super cool kind of funky looking guitars that really had character but essentially they were budget guitars they were a budget alternative to the bigger name brands like Gibson and Fender and I don't think there's really a British equivalent to this I mean we did have catalogues and department stores obviously but as far as I know they weren't filled with cool and funky looking guitars so this is really a US kind of thing and these guitars I think have gained in popularity over the years and they've certainly found favour with a certain type of player who's looking for a bit more vibe and perhaps character than you sometimes get with some of the big name brands. So Eastwood now own the rights to the airline brand and they've reissued quite a few airline designs and perhaps reissue isn't quite the right word. I think Eastwood sometimes describe these guitars as tributes because they're not strict reissues. They've made some changes to the design and spec and I think that most of those changes are actually improvements to the original design. I think if you've ever played some of the original catalogue guitars they can be great but they can also be problematic and they can feed back and the tuning and setup can be dodgy so Eastwood have made a few changes they've put in a decent adjustable bridge they've made sure the neck has got a truss rod just to make it a bit more playable but I think you still retain the vibe of the original guitar
let me whiz you through the basic design and spec then. So we've got a basewood body. This is a maple neck which is bolted on. We've got a rosewood fingerboard and the neck itself is quite chunky. I think it's a C-shaped neck but it feels quite big and very comfortable to play. Uh, also got these quite wide big frets and again I quite like the way that these frets feel. Uh, over here we got a pair of single coil pickups. I think these are Eastwood design pickups. They describe them as vintage Argyle diamonds. And then down here we've got quite simple controls. It's just a three-way pickup selector switch. Four knobs here. I like the way they're all arranged in a line like this, but really we've just got a volume and tone for the neck pickup and then a volume and tone for the bridge pickup. And as I said, we've got the bridge here, which is an improvement on the original design. We've got uh, individual intonation and height adjustment for each of the strings. The amp I'm using today is my Fender Deluxe, and I'm running that quite loud today, so five or six. And I'm just attenuating the volume slightly with a UA Oxbox, just to make things a bit more bearable volume-wise in the room as I'm recording this video. And I've got a few effects here as well. In the piece that you just heard, most of the overdrive was actually coming from the amp. I did just step on a Klon clone style pedal during the solo. The reverb is coming from the amp, just some spring reverb, and I might just add a touch of plate reverb in the mix just to give it a bit more of a stereo kind of sound. And in the examples that I'm about to play you, I want to give you a mixture of affected and less affected sounds. My intention is to let the character of this guitar come through and I'll try and indicate on screen exactly what it is that you're hearing. Let me begin by giving you some of the basic sounds of the guitar. Just going to go through the three different pickup settings so you can hear those. Remember these are single coil pickups, but to my ears they're slightly fatter than the average single coil. They're almost getting into P90 territory, but you've still got that single coil clarity and bite to them. stop talking now I'm going to play a little bit more and I'm going to try and give you a range of different styles and sounds and just let this guitar speak for itself
so that's the airline bighorn if you'd like more information on this guitar there's going to be a link underneath this video and yeah it comes as highly recommended from me i think this is a super cool looking guitar obviously that's quite a subjective thing it plays beautifully and if you like the kind of sounds that i've been getting in this video then you might like to check it out thanks a lot for watching i'll see you next time